guys, welcome back to the United 2. Today I am with King Oz and we're ranking the Premier League first goal team goal, Yeah, we're ranking the first team Premier League goalkeepers. This is going to be yeah. very interesting. interesting. So, look, obviously it's, uh, it's like almost mid-season and it's a good enough time we've got to see most of the goalkeepers for mid-season now. Yeah. And it's time to get ranking them so we're, we're going to start from 20th 20th yeah, to the first anyway so. 20th i have gone with the sheffield united keeper i know he's young i know he's young but he just really hasn't impressed me it is aaron ramsdale yeah. uh, 20th me. for me i've gone with the west brom goalkeeper sam mm. johnson i mean i know he's young he's came up through manchester united youth but, you know, overall, I mean, it's also because he hasn't got the best defence. And I think that's kind of him just losing a little bit of confidence through uh, the defence as well. But, you know, uh, he, 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 he has got some great potential, but he's never going to be like the best goalkeeper in the world. I can never see it happening. But, you know, he, he, he is quite a good goalkeeper, but he, he's definitely not the best in the Premier League. And to be honest with you... I, I I have him 20th, but you never know. He, he could come out and improve, though, but, you know. Well, yeah. 19th, I mean, people don't mm. rank him highly, but it is the Brighton keeper, Matt mm. Ryan. The only thing that I don't like about Matt Ryan is I just don't really see him as a good keeper. Yeah. He's, Brighton need a new keeper. I, I, I ranked him a bit low, but in 19th place, he's getting old now. He's the Fulham goalkeeper, Ariola. Mm. Uh, overall, I, I, I haven't don't know. ranked him much he, higher. He, he, he's just not the best goalkeeper in the league. And to me, honestly, I think a few people do overrate him a bit, if I'm completely mm. honest. I mean, yeah. I mean, look, he, he wasn't the PSG starting goalkeeper. And, you know, look, he, look, he plays for Fulham now. and Oh, on loan, but you know, look, he, he he really isn't the best goalkeeper that there isn't. Yeah, that's why I ranked him though. Eighteenth, I have gone with who you put last, Sam Johnson. I think he is better than Matt Ryan and Ramsdale, so I'm just gonna mm. put him eighteenth. Okay. I um I have put the person uh in eighteenth. I put the person that you put nineteenth, Matt Ryan and the Brighton mm. goalkeeper in eighteenth. Yeah, look, I yeah. it's just completely the same. Well, you said he just. Then we see him as much of a good keeper, and you know, lots of people rank him quite low, but yeah. 17th, this is interesting. 17th for me, I've written the Sheffield United goalkeeper, uh, Ramsdale. It, the, the reason why is because I see a lot of potential in this guy. Uh, that's why I put him a bit higher because, you know, uh, I, I see more potential in him than Sam Johnson. Oh, I mean, we, also, the Ramsdale doesn't play for a great team, but to me, honestly, I see potential in him. He, uh, 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 look, it's going to take him years until he can be England's number one, but you never know. I believe one day he could be, and you never know. He could eventually start following, uh, you know. Well, so I, I don't, I'm not sure if I'll be as good as Dean yeah. Henderson for Sheffield United, but... You know, I went but, Ariola. I, see potential. Uh, I went Ariola. You put him in eighteenth, no nineteenth. Yeah, and you've gone with him in seventeenth. In seventeenth, okay. so just a bit higher, I That's think, because he, he he has played for some good teams yeah. and he's better than okay, those. Sixteenth, right? Yeah, sixteenth place. I've gone with Jordan Pickford, the Everton goalkeeper. <laughs> Overall, he he he's uh, he, he he's just not very good whatsoever. He seriously is not good. I mean, you know. Look, uh, the reason why I put him over Ramsdale is because he's had more experience. But, you know, seriously, he, he's experienced enough and he just really is not a very good goalkeeper. He He's absolutely dreadful and he deserves to be put low. Uh, he's abs He's just... He, uh, he, he's absolutely dreadful, in my opinion, for the 16th. Pickford. 16th. I've got this, this young, talented keeper who is the Leeds number one. Uh, I I reckon oh, Ian Mersela, I think that's how you pronounce his name. M a young, I think it's Mezia. Mezia, a young French keeper. I th yeah, yes, th French, and I think he's got a lot of potential Mezia. in him. And he, um, sixteenth, he's better than the other four. And I I can see him turning out to be really good. Um, yeah. really good for Leeds this season. In fifteenth place, like I put Darlow. Uh, at, the, at the moment he started, but you know he's he's got potential in him. He isn't that old, and he's building up. So yeah, fifteenth Darlow. This might shock people, but I've gone with former Arsenal keeper, um, Fabinyaski. So the West Ham keeper. 
I just start wait, ranking. Wait, 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 what place? 15? Yeah, 15. Yeah, okay. It might shock people, but I am going with that. Okay, in 14th place, I've gone with Men- I've gone with Metzlia, uh, the mm. Leeds goalkeeper. I see potential in him. I think he's absolutely brilliant. So, you know... Well, I've gone um, Ka- uh, Carl Darlow, yeah. so... Oh, you've gone with Darlow. Yeah, he's doing well recently. That's interesting. That's 13th, interesting. this is really interesting. This is interesting. For me, because I've gone with England's current number one, who should have been... Jordan Pickford. Oh, okay. Uh, um, it might shock people, but fir- I am going with it. In thirteenth place, I put the current West Ham goalkeeper, uh, Fabianski. In thirteenth, he he he's getting older now, and he's still quite. He's a very experienced goalkeeper. He's doing well, but he he's getting old now. He's losing a bit. He's still managing to keep it as number one for um West Ham United. He's he's doing all right, but yeah, thirteenth yeah. place, Fabianski. 12 I've gone with 12 I've gone with the Crystal Palace number one Guaita oh, he was outstanding against Tottenham and he's just an average keeper 12th place okay 12th place people might be a bit shocked I, I think it's also because of uh, the defense for the team and this is another thing like I think this uh, I think this goalkeeper's been losing quite a lot of confidence this season and that's Nick Pope I've put him in 12th place. Uh, but I can't, re- I can't really argue with that because I put Nick Pope 11th. Oh, yeah, okay. So... In, in 11th place, I put uh, the former Arsenal goalkeeper who's now Aston Villa's number one, Martinez, in 11th place. Um, no, I, I, I you see, haven't done I, that. I, I see a lot of future in this guy. I think he's absolutely brilliant. Well, ten, um, number 10 for me is interesting because I've gone with Arsenal's current number one, Bernd Leno. Oh, uh, same as me. I've, like, I've gone with Arsenal's number one, uh, yeah, Leno, in 10th place as well. He's, he's not. Um, he's not he's that not, one I don't rate him. I, I, I don't rate him one bit. I think he's that. I don't think They should have kept Martinez. They should have yeah, kept Martinez. I, I think that Martinez should have been the number one. They should have kept him. Yeah, because he was doing That's well. What he, he was doing well for Arsenal last season. And now, he was when fast they were he's, he, he's doing quite well keeping the old clean sheet as well. Yeah, he's doing not bad. He, he, he's either. making some really good saves for them. And overall, he. he, he, he just seems absolutely brilliant in my opinion so yeah but yeah martinez should have they should have kept him but you know they they they, they kept yeah. that and yeah i've read i've ranked no, him number 10 ninth who've you got uh the current southampton goalkeeper um mccarthy in in ninth place and we agree again because like i just i rank mccarthy you know i think he's english and we have some yeah. bright talent in english keepers yeah we do in yeah. the future, uh, Mark, yeah, yeah, McCarthy's Henderson. young. He, he's going to build up. So yeah, that's why I've stuck him in. People go he's on. Doing well. Yeah, yeah. He, he, and, and Southampton are doing pretty this season as well, and he's doing well keeping some clean sheets as well. So good, yeah, Southampton's done as really well. well. Yeah, in eighth place, you uh, rank this mm. uh, goalkeeper a bit lower. I've gone with the current uh, not Southampton. I've gone with the current Crystal Palace goalkeeper Guaita. Fair enough. But, you know, I've gone with the I, I, I Aston mean, Villa. Like me, oh. I feel like uh, Guaita, uh, you, uh, you would either rank him like average or you would either rank him like about where I've ranked him. Yeah, fair enough. Well, anyway, yeah, anyway, you Oh, eighth, I've gone with the current Aston Villa keeper, Martinez. Because yeah, right. Villa are doing well. They've surprised people with that 72 victory over um, Liverpool. Uh, but, really... He should be Arsenal's number one. I think that's the same kind of thing with um, what I've done with Guita. You can either rate him like a bit higher up or you can rate him like kind of average. Mm, That's what you can really do. Seventh place, who have you gone with? Um, I have gone with Casper Schmeichel Mm. in seventh place, the Leicester City goalkeeper. So you've ranked Patricio higher than Schmeichel? Yeah. I believe. No. Have you actually? Yeah, that's what I think. Oh, no. I mean, look, seventh place is good. I mean, it's like around where Leicester finishes. Well, seventh, I've gone with Patricio. Oh, he's okay. my ultimate team keeper. And, like, I mean, just saying that. But on average, Wolves have been all right. Yeah. They've had some good results, Chelsea. But, yeah, yeah but look, seventh yeah. for me. Yeah, oh, yeah, Portugal's seven, number yeah. one. Don't forget that. Portugal's yeah. number one. Uh, yeah. Anyway, six. so number six, I've gone with Mendy. Agreed again. Yeah, but Mendy. He, in my opinion, he's, he's definitely number six. No, he, I, I can he, see he, look, potential in him. Yeah, but look, he, he plays but for six. Chelsea. He's nowhere near like he, he's nowhere near like the quality of Alisson, De Gea, Lloris, Edison, really, though, is he? No. 
Yeah, so I'll go with Mendy as yeah, well. Yeah, look, he's only just joined Chelsea. He's, he's still on funny his feet a bit in the team, but yeah. Uh, number five, this is interesting. Oh. I've gone with Portugal's number one, the Wolves goalkeeper, Oof. Patricio. Hmm. Well, I've gone with um, Kasper Schmeichel. He's won the league. Um, Denmark's number one. He's just, he's class, isn't he? Um, yeah, fair enough. He's just a brilliant keeper. Yeah, but look, I, 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 yeah, look, I think being Portugal's number one is a big thing. And I think uh, through like, the past like two, three seasons since Wolves have been in the Premier League, um, uh, Patricio's been made, uh, keeping some um, good clean sheets in some really important games. He's been making some good saves in important games as well. And he's yeah. been really well, so yeah, fifth, Patricio. Fourth? Well, this might I've loads of people with... rank him so yeah, highly. I've, I've gone with the Manchester City goalkeeper, Edison. Oh, agreed, place. exactly. Like, I mean, overrated. Yeah, I mean, look, he, he hasn't been doing great this season. Uh, last season, he wasn't doing amazing either, but... He's not. Yeah, I don't think he's that good. No. I don't think he's one yeah. of the top. He's in so the we've top. agreed look, with look. currently four. Yeah, but look, he's in the top four. To be yeah, fair, look. some keepers he, he, could he, get he, him he, out. He's an easy keeper, but... Yeah, in fourth, I've got some other letters. I think we've agreed on four as well. Yeah. In third place, I have gone with the Tottenham Hotspurs goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris, in third place. Yeah, World Cup winner, Tottenham captain. What can you say? He's just class, isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's played well he's all season, really. Well. really. Uh, and been, I've gone he's, with he's him in third as well. He's been playing for Tottenham for years as well. And, yeah. he, and he, he's been in my top four of best goalkeepers in the Premier League for absolutely years now. He's absolutely brilliant. And, you know, one day he will 100% make it to the top. I mean, I had him yeah. at the top at a point. We've agreed on five. Well. Yeah. So far. In the second, second cup, place, you have I've to gone agree. With the Manchester the United goalkeeper, David De Gea. Uh, well, look, yeah, look, 100%. He's not the best, but, you know, obviously, he, he's been making a few mistakes. But, you know, when he's on top form, he's doing quite well this season so far. When he's on top form, he's absolutely world class. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, but no, yeah. there's only one man who can be top, yeah, and it is unfortunately, Liverpool. Unfortunately, it's the Liverpool number one, uh, uh, Alisson. I mean, he's brilliant, isn't he? I, I wish Adrian started every week because I'll be like, no, yeah. No. But Alisson is just Brazilian. Brazil have lots of great keepers in their squad. They they're overloaded in like um, keepers. Edison, Alisson, um, yeah. list goes on uh, like. Yeah. But, like, England are overloaded with right-backs and stuff, so... And we have some uh, good goalkeepers yeah. coming up the ranks. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, right. especially yeah. McCarthy and, obviously, Dean Henderson. Yeah, I can see bright things from McCarthy. Uh, you never know, Ramsdale can make it In my there, opinion, like five McCarthy should be England's number one. I'm he's saying he's it now. He's getting picked in the team. Yet, I know, right? he's better. I'll say this now. He's better than Pope, Pickford and Henderson. What well, we should... Uh, yeah, yeah. What we should do for the next video is we should rank uh, the bench goalkeepers. Yeah. And that's what we should do. But wait, yes. uh, wait, let's go through our list one more time. So I'll go through mine. So in 20th, yeah. I put Sam Johnson. 19th, I put Ariola. 18th, Matt Ryan. Uh, 17th, Ramsdale. 16th, Pickford. 15th, Darlow. 14th, Meslia. Uh, 13th, Fabianski. 12th, Nick Pope. 11th, Martinez. 10th, Leno. 9th, McCarthy. 8th, Guaita. 7th, Schmeichel. Sixth, Mendy. Uh, fifth, Patricio. Fourth, Edison. Third, Laurie. Second, De Gea. And first, Alisson. So, yeah, let me run through my list. Got 20th, Ramsdale. Matt, then Matt, um, 19th, Matt Ryan. 18th, Sam Johnson. 17th, Ariola. 16th, Mesula. 15th, Aminyaski. 14th, Darlow. 13th, Pickford. 12th, Kaita. 11th, Pope. 10th, Leno. 9th, McCarthy. 8th, Martinez, 7th, Patricio, 6th, Mendy, 5th, Schmeichel, 4th, Edison, 3rd, Larice, 2nd, David De Gea, and number 1, Alison Becker. Yeah, so interesting. Now I'll let you end so, it now. So interesting. Um, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn your notifications on. Goodbye for now.